everyone. So we have some exciting news. Uh, we're expecting baby number two. Um, we're absolutely over the moon. This is something we've wanted for quite a while um, and it was something that I was starting to panic maybe wasn't going to happen. And basically over the last few months um, I've been doing like ovulation tests and um, it kind of wasn't really happening. I'd been to the doctor and I'd actually been to the hospital for tests just to check that everything was okay and then boom, <laughs> um, I'm fallen pregnant. We got married last July. So as soon as we were married, we thought we'd like a second child because Sophia is now two. So when we got married, she was a year and four months um, and we sort of thought it'd be quite nice to have about two years, two and a half years um, between Sophia and the next one. When it came to Christmas and that hadn't happened, we were like, right, well, let's actually start properly trying and knowing the times when you're able to fall pregnant, which I have now learned is a very slim window. So from January until, well, now May, um, we, yeah, we're doing ovulation tests, which I thought were brilliant because at least it showed you when exactly you were coming close to ovulation, when your like peak fertility days were, or high fertility days, first of all, and then it would give you your peak fertility days. And it was actually really lucky because last month when I did fall pregnant in April, um, I actually ovulated a week late. I'm now about six weeks. I found out about a week and a half ago. Um, so this was, <laughs> I'm sure you don't care about seeing this, but that was the what came up whenever I did the pregnancy test um, and basically what made me think I might be pregnant was that um, well my, my period was late but I knew that things were probably like I kind of had a, because I knew I'd ovulated late I, I knew that my cycle would be a little bit messed up so I thought maybe that had just affected it but when it was a couple of days late I was starting to to get a bit hopeful and um, we were actually over in Ireland for a friend's wedding and um, I just was feeling a little bit weird and my boobs had got really quite full and quite sore and that's always for me the biggest indication and also um, not a very nice symptom and something I didn't really have with Sophia but I, I'm having now um, I was really constipated sorry um and uh i just yeah I, I just was like i felt something was wrong and something was weird so i was in ireland and it was actually the day we were leaving and i just thought i'll just give a quick check um i thought i didn't even tell andrew i was doing it i went to the chemist and i got one i didn't want to get his hopes up because he really was really keen for another child so um i thought i'll not tell him because i'm probably just it's probably not. I'm probably just getting my hopes up because I'd actually done a pregnancy test the week before and it was negative. And I cried <laughs> that day thinking it's not happened again. So I went and got a pregnancy test from the chemist and um, did it. But I, I meant to get one of the ones like that digital one there that I've just shown you um, that shows you exactly how many weeks and everything you are. But I picked up the wrong one. So it was one of those ones that just gives you a line or a cross. And the thing with them is you're always actually going, is it, is it a cross? Is it really a cross? Is it a line? Oh, I'm not quite sure. And even when it's quite clear, you're just a bit, oh. So it seemed like a cross. Um, and I went in and I showed Andrew and I said, I think I am. And um, I think I'm pregnant. And he was um, really excited. But I kind of was like, I don't want to get my hopes up until we go and do get one of the proper ones that tells you how many weeks you are and actually says the words pregnant or not pregnant. As soon as we got back to Kent, I was I drove down to Boots and got one, um, really eager to just find out, got home and did it. This is what it showed. So um, yeah, it actually says the words pregnant and how many weeks you are. It says two to three, but, and then, but if you read the box, it says that actually you should add on another like two weeks on top of that. So I was about five, four and a half, um, to five weeks whenever we, we find out. It's still, I think, too early for any major pregnancy symptoms, apart from the constipation and huge boobs, um, that <laughs> were the two indicators. Um, obviously, you know, not showing yet or anything, um, but really, really excited. And we're gonna have, hopefully, if all goes well, a sibling for, oh, this little one here. Um, and I'm going to try and keep you updated throughout the rest of the pregnancy. I'm not going to actually upload these until I'm past a certain you know, date and make sure everything's okay. So I'm recording these in advance. So probably when you see them go up, uh, you'll be like, what? Uh, you know, it's it's now, um, I don't know, August or something. But we got a letter. Thank you very much. Um, 
but yeah, it's actually technically now May um, when I'm recording this, um, but I'll be uploading it in a few months' time when hopefully everything will be fine. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on the rest of the pregnancy. And if anyone out there is pregnant or has just found out that they're pregnant and wants to share sort of how they find out or um, any sort of advice, <laughs> or maybe you were trying for a while and um, sort of it, it's happened for you, or you've been trying and you're panicking a little bit and you want to get in touch because I was panicking and didn't think it would happen. Um, but it has so far, fingers crossed. I don't want to tempt fate. Let me know if you've got any comments or any questions um, and I'll update you on the pregnancy all very soon.